Melodyne has six algorithms that determine how the audio is analyzed and separated. If you haven't already transferred in audio, these will be grayed out up top here, but you can set a default algorithm here that will be applied to the audio transfer. You can also set this to automatic to automatically determine what the best algorithm is. So my first example is that same vocal example from the previous video. For this, you typically want to use melodic. <laughs> Melodic works best for monophonic tonal material. And by tonal, I mean non-percussion instruments that don't have overlapping notes. So single voice vocals or even instrumental melodies like a single note guitar lick, bass guitar, synth leads, anything that plays one note at a time. Here's the melodic algorithm on a clean guitar lead. and it's broken up each of the notes in the guitar part just fine. There's two polyphonic options, polyphonic sustain and polyphonic decay. Both of these will break up chords in the analysis into multiple notes vertically. Polyphonic sustain is meant for instruments that don't have a noticeable decay in their volume across time, so things like strings and organ. Polyphonic decay is for instruments that do have a noticeable decay in their volume across time. Things like piano and guitar, for example. So this is a guitar chord, so I'm gonna choose polyphonic decay and then press play. The cool thing about polyphonic is that you can actually change the chord character. For instance, this is an E flat seven chord. But if I wanted to make this an E flat minor seventh chord, I could take the third of the chord, G here, and lower it down to G flat. Or I could raise the root up and make this a completely different chord. If you find that polyphonic decay is causing a bit too much noise and artifacting, switch it over to polyphonic sustain. And vice versa, if polyphonic sustain is causing too much artifacting and noise, try out polyphonic decay instead. Drum loops and individual drums work best with the percussive algorithm. With the percussive algorithm, you see everything just on a single row here, on a single note, but you can still affect their timing and pitch. For example, if I wanted all of the snare drums to be lower or higher, I could select all of these and pull them down, or pull them up. Now you'll notice that the notes are snapping to semitones or half steps as I pull them up or down. This is because under options, pitch grid, I have my snap set to chromatic snap. If you have this set to no snap, notes will not snap to the pitch grid. So you can make some more fine adjustments. Percussive pitched combines the rhythmic emphasis from the percussive algorithm with the melodic algorithm. This is best for transient heavy material that is pitched to specific notes, like xylophone, marimba, or plucked instruments and synthesizers. Using this algorithm will help preserve transients better than the melodic algorithm. And lastly, the universal algorithm will load everything up in a straight line, but you can still alter the pitch of each note by raising or lowering each blob. By the way, that's actually the technical term for each of these notes. They're called blobs. <laughs> now, if you wanna change back to one of the other algorithms, it's very simple. You just go up to algorithm and select the algorithm you wanna switch back to. And with ARA, you can just quickly redetect. In the next video, I'll jump into the pitch correct macro and I'll demonstrate some basic pitch correction techniques.